My name is Joey Maxim. I was 16 years old when I died. I've been fighting ever since to live. You know, I used to play three sports, basketball, soccer, and lacrosse, and they were back to back to back season. So from January 1st till January 1st the next year, I was doing some every single night. But November 19th, 2011, I went to the 16th birthday party and on my way home, we, we crashed and we hit a tree. I went unresponsive. Paramedics came and they found out I had two collapsed lungs and I aspirated. I wasn't breathing, I wasn't living, I wasn't gonna make it. When we went into the trauma unit, I said, that's not my son. That's not my son. Joey was not able to breathe on his own, um, so he had a tracheostomy tube when he came to me, and he was not able to eat, so he had a feeding tube from his nose into his stomach. Uh, his injuries included a type of injury we call a diffuse axonal injury, which uh, often does not show good recovery. The other really big problem for Joey was that his frontal lobes were involved, and that's where we have all of our judgment, reasoning, personality, our filter. You know, it's just so hard because he was this extreme, you know, straight-A honor student that was looking to go to West Point. No three sports. I'll never do anything again that requires a helmet. The school's not coming easy to him anymore. The brain injury was a, a major part of life as far as, you know, what we have deficits. There were times that he was clearly depressed about it all. Once you realize what's happened to you and what you've lost, it's difficult. It's really difficult. I would cry myself to sleep every night and, you know, I, I, I would pray to God that, that I wouldn't wake up the next morning because I don't want to live another day. This first few months after the accident, I was losing the battle. And then I tied my first fly. That success led to hope. Hope that I was at least still able to do something. Several years ago, I was able to accomplish some things not even I thought possible. Joseph Francis Maxim II. I graduated from high school, got a job, and even moved out of state. But I've seen some real hard days since. They've included things like new diagnoses and more than one admission to the psych ward. For me and other TBI patients, the truth is no one can really see the pain we're in. Only we know. We deal with a tremendous amount of self-doubt and anxiety. Most days it's a fight for me to believe I'm not crazy. During my recovery process, I came across a famous fly fishing quote that reads, the charm of fishing is that it is the pursuit of what is elusive but attainable, a perpetual series of occasions for hope. For some, perpetual occasions for hope may sound nice, but not necessary. For me, they are my oxygen. And so on the river, I breathe. Fly fishing us, is it a sport? Yeah, it'll always be a sport. But it's a passion, it's a way of life. It has brought life to my son. Ah, what a big! It has brought life to my son, fly fishing. And for anybody to say it isn't, it's just fishing with a pole, keep thinking that, and I will show you different. I'll show you life. I know I'm not the only one that had that feeling when they got out of the Children's Institute. You don't have to pray that you don't want to wake up tomorrow. Your life's not over. It's just that you got to live it in a new way. <laughs>